Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to another video. And today, man, we're gonna talk about an incident that happened in New York over noise complaint. And it ended with a stepfather, well, father and a son um, being gunned down. And I've seen a lot of videos, you know, um, between people arguing over the simplest stuff that could have been just resolved by uh but just but just by let 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 letting it go it didn't have to escalate to the point where people need to get shot or stabbed or a fight break out and apparently this argument um happened over noise complaint where the man in the black uh apparently he lives downstairs in the family uh the men's family in the white they live upstairs and you know from what i understand the apartment complex that they stay at is an old apartment um the floor is made of wood so any type of you know step or anything that falls any movement hard movement basically would make noise and uh the men in the black uh whose name is jason pass and the victim are Vladimir Maturin and his stepson Shinwai Mode. They've been going on it for years over over noise complaint, and uh, sadly, it ended in a fatal shooting. To explain what happened, this is an article on uh, Gangnam Times. It says fatal shooting in NYC apartment. Noise complaint kills father and son. A murder case has occurred in New York. The largest city in the U.S. where a dispute between neighbors over apartment noise escalated into a shooting. According to the New York Times and other sources, on the 31st local time, a shooting murder case occurred at an apartment in East Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York, around 10.30 p.m. on the 29th. The victims were Vladimir Maturin, 47, and his stepson, Shinwai Mode, 27, and the shooter was Jason Pass, 47. There were neighbors living on the third and fourth floors of the apartment, but they had been in conflict over noise for a long time. Local police report that Pass, who live on the lower floor, committed the crime in a fit of anger. Marie Delille, 48, who lost her husband and son in an instant, testified, quote, We haven't been on good terms with Pass since we moved in over four years ago. Pass and his elderly mother, was sensitive to noise and often complained and had emotional conflicts and arguments even when there was no issue. The murder scene was captured on the fourth floor hallway CCTV, showing not only the argument between neighbors but also the shooting. Pass was first arguing with Doril, and even when Maturin, who had been followed his wife, ran out of the house with scissors and threatened him, he did not back down. He continued to argue with Doril pulled out a handgun from his coat, turned around, and shot Maturin, who was heading back home. Now, when I watched the video, and um, at the beginning of the video, uh, the man came up, apparently, according to the wife, she said that he kicked the door. Um, well, first of all, he was begging on the ceiling, uh, which would be their floors, because the, uh, the family lives upstairs. Uh, the father... Um, Maturin banged back on the floor. He came up, kicked the door. Um, that's when the video started. He was standing by, uh, I believe, a stairs. The lady came out to talk to him. There was no audio, so we don't know what they were talking about. And then the father came out. You know, he had no T-shirt on. He went back to put his T-shirt on. And he came out holding a pair of scissors. Okay, and the, the, uh, the father is like, way taller and bigger than the uh the shooter now okay there are noises we are sorry if there was some live music playing turn it down um now i don't know obviously i wasn't there but you do have people who have no consideration for their neighbor but i mean they will have kids they will let their kids run around step uh jump uh you know in in the in the apartment, knowing them well, there are people downstairs, especially at nighttime. You know, kids are 
out of school. Uh, they got a ton of energy. You would think that would tell the kids, hey, stop running around. There are people living downstairs. It's that time. People got to go to bed. They got to work tomorrow. They, they don't care. Okay, as long as the kids are out of their faces, they got to worry about them. They will let them jump around. According to them, you know, they pay the bills. If they have the right to do, uh, to let the kids do whatever they want. And you got to be, you got to consider your neighbors, okay? You got people, they also pay too. Um, that's why when I'm, you know, trying to get an apartment, I hope and pray that the room that I'm getting is not downstairs because I do not want to live downstairs. I don't want to be, uh, you know, at the mercy of people that live on top of me, uh, hoping and praying that they are good, good neighbors. They're not going to, you know, uh, be doing jumping jacks, playing basketball upstairs. And I got to go to the office to make complaints or call the police, stuff like that. And I'm not saying that this man deserve to lose his life. Um, but you came up with some shit, man. What were you thinking? Um, obviously he's a bigger guy. He thought he could intimidate Jason and, uh, it didn't end well. Uh, and also I didn't think, I don't know, man. It was, it was just weird. Cause the guy came up to him with the scissors and then he put out his gun, right? And obviously, uh, Blasimi, the father, when he saw that he didn't run, he just like, kind of like, you know, brush it off and turn around to go back. But I don't know if he said something. I don't know if he said something like, Okay, all right. I see what we're doing. Let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm wait, 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 right here. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm assuming. I'm not saying that's what he said. And Jason uh, opened fire and he shot the father first. And then the stepson, who was on his right, trying to run past him. But I guess he took that as if he was trying to, you know, grab onto him. And he sh shot this, uh, the stepson. It was, it was brutal, man. The video was crazy. Let's go in here, man. The police said, uh, quote, after Machuan fell to the ground after being shot, Paz also pointed his gun at Mode. Um, after shooting both of them, alternately, he fled by taking the elevator down to the first floor. Paz, who has not been yet arrested, is known to have briefly worked as a correctional officer at a Winchester County prison in New York State. Machuan, who was killed, worked as a school bus driver during the day in an uber driver at night it is known to have four children man i said uh with his remarried wife the real the positions of both sides regarding the noise complaint that occurred on the day of the incident are conflicting the real claim quote i was doing the dishes in the kitchen when i heard a loud banging sound from the ceiling below and there was no unusual noise but when my husband banged on the floor to express his dissatisfaction the satisfaction uh passed him up and kicked the door uh, the front door and the argument started at that point man um called the police something do not get into arguing with people because you don't know what they got on them um what they are going through if it's not something uh you know that can be resolved easily just call the police or just don't engage at all that's that's this is what i say about that you don't have to be the tough guy and prove that you know um you're not scared, you know, you, you, you gangster, things like that. Cause obviously that did not go well for, um, my terrain. Uh, let's go here. On the other hand, past sister, uh, before past went upstairs, my mother, uh, complained to the apartment manager about the noise and the couple upstairs didn't stop the children from running around the house. And when we complained about the noise, they deliberately made more noise to harass us. The real victims are us, not them. Joseph Kenny, a police officer in charge of the case, said, quote, the apartment is old and the floors are made of wood, so just walking can make a loud noise, and there are frequent resident reports to snuff due to noise between floors. As I was doing this story, apparently uh, the shooter, the shooter, Jason Pass, he was taken out by the NYPD, uh, so uh, the father, uh, Mathieu, he passed away, the stepson, uh, Shin Y passed away. Now the the shooter, Jason Pass, he was taken out by the police. Like all all that over noise complaint. This is this is insane, man. Um, this is right here. A three day manhunt in Brooklyn ended Wednesday with police fatally shooting a man they say shot and killed his neighbor and steps on on Sunday. Officials said the suspect Jason Pass, who uh, was hiding inside a vehicle in Bath Beach, 
Police were still awaiting a search warrant on the vehicle to see if the wagon, if the weapon uh, allegedly used to kill the two people is still inside. Police said the gun was not resist registered to pass. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, he he uh, he's out of there. Uh, this is sad, man. This is uh, sad. It didn't have to end like this. Um, more of the story is be be kind to your neighbor. Um, just to avoid a situation like this, because it didn't have to end like this. You know, just because somebody's smarting you and don't come up, don't come up to people with things. You no, know, whether it's uh scissors, knives, a teddy bear, try to resolve the issue peacefully. I'm sorry, uh, the kids, you know, they uh out of school or whatever. Was it on the weekend? Uh, you know, it's Sunday. I'm gonna talk to him. Make him sit down. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm going to turn the TV down. I'm going to turn the radio down. My bad, man. Like, none of this did have to happen. I don't know what the hell they were going through. Um, I don't know what they were thinking. Obviously, there was a whole macho man going on. If you watch the video, you know, uh, I guess because his wife was sitting there, he felt like he had to be a man. I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just sad, man. Like, whenever I see things like that where people just lose their, lose their lives over nothing, sad man um anyways that's all i got for you guys if you're into the end please drop a like subscribe and i'll see y'all on next one